Hi. Back with another video. And now, in this video, we're going to read about, um, like, well, something maybe, maybe make you feel better if you feel kind of defeated before you even start. Um, take heed to what the Lord says here. You can read this yourself if it's not in the version of the Bible that you prefer. Read it in yours. It's Psalm 34. I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. My soul will boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his, uh, let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called to the Lord, called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. That means you. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you as saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow, may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Speak peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from, from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems his servants. No one, no one will be condemned who takes refuge in him. Thank you, and I, I hope this helps you in some way. So remember this when you need, you know, to feel a little better about things. I hope this touches your heart and speaks to you. Never feel defeated because in the Lord you can do anything. I always say that to me, you know, when I, or to myself, when I have to do something. I say, Lord, in my own strength, I can't do this. But in your strength, I can do anything. Don't put limits on yourself because you're not alone. You got the Lord going with you right in the battle. Just be steadfast and he'll fight your fights. Well, I'll see you later. Either there, here, or up there. <laughs> Bye now.